Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Ed. Today we're going to be talking about Naked Brand Group, going with the ticker NAKD. Now I do hope that I'm going to give you a bit more updates and things you haven't heard before, but a lot of this video will be taking a look in the insightful information that they have given us related to their value and cash. Now the reason for this is I really want to look at how much their actual value is in terms of price over book because a lot of the statistics out there from what I did research earlier today is that they're outdated because they're 12 months trailing from January 31st uh, PRs that they have released relating to their financials. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Today, I'm also going to be giving you technical analysis and institutional buyers updates. But if you'd like to watch my previous video, it is in the description below. But without further ado, let's jump right into this one here. And we're looking into the current Benden Agreement sale consideration. You're looking at a total of around $45.3 million. And then moving on from here, based on January 31st, 2021, their cash and cash equivalent is around 90 million. 9, which include which equals to around 64.8 million dollars us dollars so we're adding this here as we go and then if we go back towards news you're able to see right off the bat some of the news including a hundred million dollar private placement so we'll add we're going to be adding that and 50 million dollars registered direct offering all that comes around 260 million dollars in just cash now that is a massive amount of money to have just laying aside now additional to that i do want to take in consideration their current total not just cash but their total assets so for that we're going to take a look into their total assets and you're able to see it in the balance sheet right here so the total assets is around 160 million dollars that includes around 90 million dollars of cash of cash so take around that, let's say probably in terms of non-inventory, non-receivables and non-cash, uh, but relating towards everything else, you're probably looking at around $40 million, kind of an estimate. So you're looking closer to around $300 million of their total worth. And if we go back towards their market cap, they're around $680.32 million. Now, the enterprise value here is estimated to be around $587 million. This is based on derived from multiple sources or calculated by Yahoo Finance. Now, for this, the price over book is more closer towards 3 or 2 rather than 435 which in par becomes a lot better valuation when you're comparing it to the market itself, which has an average currently of almost five. Now the price over sales here, I'm not going to judge it by that because of one reason, this is trailing 12 months and they're going towards a fully e-commerce kind of platform. Now, some other news that I do want to talk about is their minimum bid of compliance that they have to reach above $1 for 10 days at least and that they need to be there by uh, October 25th, 2021. Currently, they're trading around 82 cents or somewhere around there. And so it is possible nonetheless. And there's other things you do want to talk about. For instance, a lot of people have been hitting me whenever I make a video on this. Talk about the naked short selling. Uh, well, for me, from what I see currently, is that the short selling, at least per short flow, is sitting closer probably to around as of May 14th, around 5%. Now they're saying, saying there's naked pools of short selling. Now I'm not able to actually confirm nor deny that that's something the SEC can comment, comment on and give you high accuracy. Now, other than that, it could be speculations. It could be misinterpretations, misinterpretations. And I'm not going to dive into that because I'm trying to give you straight on facts and direct speculations that I can actually back up. Now, another thing here that I do want to show you is institutional buyers. Not a lot of activity from institutional buyers and keep that in mind when trading into this one. And before I move on further, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to click that like button down below. And if you would like to subscribe and see more contents, the bottom right corner has a subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. It helps my channel a lot. And if you'd like to join our discord, you can just click show more. It's totally free down here. Now, another thing I do want to talk about this one is the future of this stock. What do I see in the future of this stock? I definitely see more of an e-commerce system that will probably be integrated sometime in the next couple of years. And with that, you might actually get better return on assets or return on equity. Currently, a lot of these valuations are honestly not the best at all. 
for one reason their growth is negative for instance quarterly revenue growth year over year is negative five percent revenue per share is only around 73 cents but that's trailing 12 months which is honestly not bad compared to 82 52 cents shares but here's the thing this is trailing 12 months and since then there has been massive dilution around the shares uh probably looking uh, on how they actually got that $150 million, 100 being in direct, uh, sorry, in uh, direct placements and 50 million being in direct offerings. So in that sense, things aren't looking the best for this one when it comes in towards now. But in the future, they are set to have a really massive advantage in the e-commerce industry relating toward that field. So without further ado, move on, moving on now towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis standpoint of view, what we get to see is that we have a bullish kicker following by uh, a red candle that started up at almost a dollar to the highest of the day. And the moving averages itself are actually going from bearish to bullish. You see the green line, the 10 SMAs, it's bullish when it's above the red line, the 30 UMA. And you're seeing this reflection or inflection point happening anytime in the next few days. Now the price point is also above the 50 SMA, which is a bullish thing at 61 cents. The ADX is at 2083, which is said, which suggests a very strong potential of a trend forming in the next few days. Now the William percent R shows it's not actually overbought, but very close to doing so. And the MACD shows a very bullish momentum, a bullish move, a trend, and momentum does support this where the momentum is sitting at 26 or 0.26. Now the current stochastic fast and stochastic slow, both are actually moving upwards and that's definitely a bullish thing. Now on the Bollinger Bands, which is basically, basically more of a momentum based bands, it's expected to trade 76 on the top and 41 cents on the bottom. Now it being above this here, that might be actually a bit more of a dangerous level because sometimes it happens that it's higher. The Bollinger Bands do increase, but they do follow back inside. So keep in mind that that trend happens way too often. So you might actually see that the Bollinger Band stabilizes around 80 cents and it falls back in or around a dollar and it falls back in. But usually the Bollinger Band would adjust and stabilize. And the volumes itself are actually looking really good. Uh, they're bullish. There's a lot of volume coming in, although the second day having less volume than the first day is usually something more of a bearish trend. You get to see this one, for instance, here. One, two. They're both looking very much similar towards the volumes here. And the second day was a red candle. The first day was a green candle. The next few days was sloppy and then a bit of a bullish and then sloppy. So keep in mind that that actually might happen again. I'm not saying for sure because there's different elements coming to this one. And perhaps AMC push is actually pulling this one upwards as well. And in terms of Fibonacci retracements, we're able to see key points of supports and resistances. The current resistance level that was support in sometime midday was around 85 cents. The next resistance was 134. 173, 213, 269, and 340. Now on a price line action, let's start taking a look into supports. But currently we have a very strong support at 80 cents. Now the next one is at 70 cents, following that 58 cents and 46 cents followed by 34 cents. Significant resistances, a very strong one is sitting at 90 cents. Above there, $1.06. Above there, $1.20. Above there, $1.44, $1.58. Following that, $1.88, and then upwards to $2.24. And now comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about all this? Now, definitely I think that Naked Brain Groups has all the elements to do uh, really good in the next few years, specifically towards e-commerce. However, they have done massive dilutions. Uh, their, some of their fundamentals, as I showed you, are a little bit kind of stubby. But overall, I do think that this company has potential. And hopefully, they're able to pull this through with bullish standards. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do recommend that you go ahead and join our Discord server. There's a lot of amazing folks in here. Uh, we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day. A lot of people are in there, and we do ask questions. You can ask me uh, any question you would like on there. We do post research and DDs, and we hold weekly uh, chat sessions. And we also do have a lounge in there. So make sure to actually join that and join the fun there. Have a wonderful day and a good one.